First and foremost, I give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, by Shema Mashiach, Yahushai. Welcome back. This is another lesson with your boy Zion from SJ Tulsa. Today, I'm going to go over honor thy father and thy mother. Yes, this commandment, we all know it. We all heard of it. But let's dive down to what that actually looks like, right? So my first scripture is the actual law. This is Exodus 20 and 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. So straight off the rip, you see that it has a blessing with it. It says, honor thy father and mother, and you will live a long life. I want to live. You want to live. Let's honor our father and our mother. You know, nowadays, it's real easy to see kids rebel against their kid, uh, their, 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 their parents, Salakia. Their kids are always rebellious. You see them, you see them white boys, how they be cussing out their father and their mother. That's a curse. Shoot, you, you're, you're really supposed to die. That's the next scripture. Let me get it. This is Leviticus 20 and 9. It says, For everyone that curseth his father or his mother shall surely, shall be surely put to death. He that curseth, cursed his father and, or his mother, his blood shall be upon him. So that's a serious thing, man. So we got to make sure that we, we're not playing around with these, these, these sins, man. You can't, you can't just play around with that and think that you're just going to get scot-free. You know, that's just not how that works, man. But let's continue. This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 8. So this is actually how more of how you actually father, uh, honor your parents. It says, honor thy father and thy mother, birth, both in word. So, you know, say, say compliments to your father and mother. Say, thank you for raising me up. Thank you for building um, building me up to the man I am now. Thank you for chastising me when I when I went off, when I when I was going off. Thank you, father and mother. It says this, both in word and deed. Deed is an action. So when your mom tells you to go, you know, this is, this is a perfect example. You know when your mom would always tell you to wash the dishes or go mow the lawn and you always, <sighs> really do i really have to you know what bro just go do it even now you got i mean it don't stop this law don't stop you know what i'm saying uh if your mom needs you for something man if she needs you to take take her to the hospital go do it you could you could have be out with your boys hanging out but your mom needs something man don't forsake your mom don't 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 put her in the back of your mind your parents in the back of your mind and just keep going on like life and just not do it no this law don't stop man Honor thy father and thy mother, man. Now, I'll tell you right now, I was a rebellious ass kid, straight up. I, shoot, I did not have the best relationship with my mom. Definitely not my father. I was just, not, I didn't give a fuck. But the point, it, and sorry for slacking for, you know what I'm saying, saying perverse, perverse speech. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to work on that. But the point I'm saying is, you know, I did not have the best, best relationship with my parents. So when I came into the truth, I, I sit down, I read these scriptures. And I be renewed. I'm casting off the iniquity on me. You know what I'm saying? Cast off the, the blots that we was created in America. America stained us, man. So now we gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get the rag. You gotta, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Make yourself clean, man. It's not an easy process, but it is a process that will bring forth life. So let's get it. Um, next scripture, it says, Ecclesi and these are all in Syrac 3. Syrac 3, read it. If you have a problem with it, even if you don't have a problem with honoring the father and mother, read Sirach 3. It's a good reminder. Sirach 3, it says, my son, thy father, it says, my son, help thy father in his age and grieve him not as long as he liveth, man. So when your dad is old, you know, when you get older, you weren't able to maneuver your body like you used to, man. That's just how, it, that's what age does, man. You're not as sharp as you were when you was 20 or when you was 30 or when you was 40, etc. So when your parents are getting an old age, they need help. They need to help me. I mean, when you was young, you needed help and they was there. So that's a perfect cycle. When they're old and where they can't do things that they, 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 they just a regular life, you step in and help them, man. That's your reasonable service. You know, you're saying you can't, Who? I think there's a paraphrase that says, how can we repay our parents? Like how well, they've done everything for us. They lived their whole life catering to us, protecting us, countless nights staying up. You know what I'm saying? So the least you can do is help them when they're about to, you know, pass away. Um, uh, let's see. Verse 
Yeah, verse, this is Sarek 3 and 12. My son, help thy father in his age and grieve him not as long as he liveth. Grieve him not, man. You know, don't be, don't be acting like a fool, a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Stop acting like a, uh, 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 an unintelligent young man. You know, it's, it's crazy that people grew up good lives, perfect food on the table, right? And then they go portray it like their parents didn't provide it for them. They're rapping about the struggle and, and things they didn't go through just to just to look cool, man, and bring shame upon their parents. Their parents made you have a roof under your head, fed you every day, make sure you're in a good school. And then you want to go, you know, put on a facade saying, oh, look, I came from the streets, man. My, I was struggling every day. Like, bro, don't grieve your parents, man. Just 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 make sure that you are you are you are representing your mom and your dad the best that you can in word and speech, man. Let me actually, it's not even on my lesson, but let me get this, let me get this. Cause it's in Sarai 3 also, man. It says, honor not thy father. Yeah, verse 10, uh, verse 10, glory not in the dishonor, Salakia, I misquoted it. Glory not in the dishonor of thy father, for thy father's dishonor is no glory unto thee. So. You're, you're, if you're like, don't, this is what, this was crazy, man. Let me, let's get real, man. This might be, this might be a long lesson. There's people that they, they'll, they'll say my, my dad ain't this. My mom ain't this. Nah, bro. My mama, man, she, and, and bring up her sin or bring up her shame. Like, why would you, why would you glory in your father's shame? Like, what does that do for you, bro? You are his seed. I'm, if I, every time I talk about my dad, I want it to be good. I want it to be honorable. I don't want to, why would I, why would I say, oh, when he, he did this in his 20s and he did, and he did, oh, I, I can't be, bro, what kind of spirit is that, bro? Just don't glory in the dishonor of thy father and thy mother. Have mercy. Have mercy, man. We have, we, we did sins that we're shameful of. Imagine our kids holding it over our heads. Bro, we, we talk about being merciful. Let's show mercy to our parents. And and yes, if this doesn't if this doesn't apply to you, right, then all praises. But I'm talking to the people this does apply to, because I'm telling you, that thought will get in your head. Oh no, my mom, bro, I remember she had this with my sister and I can't forgive her. Bro, you're not gonna be forgiven, dog. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta make sure you gotta make sure you're most uh, merciful in this thing, no matter who it is. You know what I'm saying? Um <laughs> let's get back in. let's get back into the lesson all right um let's see verse Sirach 3 and 13 if his understanding fail have patience with him patience with him and despise him not when thou art in thy full strength so when you when your dad when he when he loses his wits a little bit he's you know what i'm saying he's 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 being you know um, he can't really, he's not that sharp, man. Be patient with him, you know? Be patient with him. That's what happens when you're old. Your brain, you forget things. You know what I'm saying? You forget things. You might make more mistakes. All this stuff. Naturally, what happens? That's just what it happens. So make sure that you are being patient with your parents, man. Don't be like, damn, dad, you can't, you can't speak right. Or, dad, damn, like, you can't, you always, you always, you know, you always forgetting shit. Don't don't do that, man. It's it's not like it, that's what happens with old age, man. But let's keep going. It says, uh, it says, for the relieving of thy father shall not be forgotten, and instead this of sins it shall be added to build thee up. So, you're that's what the life is. That's the first promise, man. You're gonna that your acts are gonna be remembered. All the labor. All the extra miles that you went to help your parents, right? You was juggling your family. Then you went and you go help your mom. You go help your dad. You was mowing their lawn. You was taking care of them. Make sure they got their medicine. Make sure they're eating right. You know what I'm saying? All that burdens on your shoulders. You're out in day in and day out helping them. Those things will be remembered. Like I'm. T this is why. I, this is why I wish. Man, I hope that I legit do this to the best of my ability and make sure I do this with a perfect heart because that going to be remembered man when I, on judgment day when i'm up there on the you know when i'm up there getting judged 
man i want my works to be with me i want my under i want my mercy to be with me i want my honor my father and my mother loving my brother and sister i want that to be with me i want it to be a a a a, a, exam, a representation of who i am you know what i'm saying as a man now i'm a young man i got a lot of I got a lot, hey i i gotta be here i'm here so but every day i'm just you know what i'm saying i'm going up i'm getting there man and lord willing i'll get there but these scriptures guide us in how to actually live a long life slog it for being long-winded now the last scripture is Sirach 3 and 3 whoso honoreth his father maketh an atonement for his sins so when you honor when you um when you honor your father and mother your sins will be blooded out right and then verse this is Sirach 3 and 15 in the day of thy affliction it shall be remembered thy sins also shall melt away as the ice in a fair warm weather so i don't even know what to add on to that man that's just your sins will be you you will you will get more mercy man if you just help your father and mother man i'm telling you it's never too late to love your parents more and more and more especially if you grew up in a broken household the curses we uh the willie lynch letter how they broke up our household man our household been cooked parents hate the kids kids hate the parents bro it, it's cooked but now we got to remember to reverse these things, man. Hey, mercy is going to help you. Um, love, honor that father and mother. So with that, it's been your boy, So Zion from SJ Tulsa. I want to give all my praises, all my honor, and all my glory to the Most High God, Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shai. Shalom, shalom, stay peace and blessings.